The first thing very interesting old YouTube about the Abrams Accord was initiated by Donald Trump a while ago. So today, history day in Hebrew, tell us history in Bahrain, Prime Minister Bennett was accepted in the palace by the king and the prince. Amazing phenomenon, never was such a thing that Prime Minister of Israel will meet Emirate King. So interesting is seeing those two who represent the descendants of Abraham. Really, they, they represent it because they are both religious, believing one God in the Islamic, Islamic definitely king and prince on, of those definitely the dress according to tradition keep their tradition faith in God and in fact they are the real Islamites because you know the others the Iranian and uh, you see a mixture you know all of kind together Amalekite and this definitely not the really pure Islam but these people the Emirates Bahrain Saudi really were very particular to keep their tradition. And then the Prime Minister of Israel <laughs> as a couple, yeah, believes in God, keeps Shabbos, keeps the Torah. Okay, <laughs> unfortunately his government is a heresy government, but he himself, no, different religious. Amazing to see this phenomena, which really, this is the right way. Both of these people, Ishmael and Israel, represent tradition that Torah believe in God. If it would be Netanyahu, no cover on his head, <laughs> no keeping the proper Torah service, definitely could not be a good example <laughs> for descendants of Abraham. And as we see that this is clear also, these meetings of Israel Prime Minister and the King of Bahrain, is clear sign that we are very near the Messiah time. As you see just now in this old YouTube which I did and brought very interesting things from our rabbis a while ago. So let us see now this old YouTube. Before seeing very interesting table, in fact we did it before for you, but not in English. So we added the English and some more words. Relevant to our time, definitely. So what we see here, we see this is really was done by John Dobson, was published on August 29th. And very interesting picture of Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel, Khalifa Abu Ziyad, United Arab Emirates, and Donald Trump, United States. Basically, those three <laughs> represent Netanyahu, Israel, and Abu Ziyad, Ishmael, and Adam, Donald Trump, and the name of this agreement, this accord, was suggested by Gottlieb, <laughs> who knows quite well Torah, the accord of Abraham, because these three are descendants of Abraham, Netanyahu, uh, Abu Ziyad, and Adam, you know, this is Come to our rabbis, this is really the states. There is two sides of it, and a good side, which is Donald Trump, and the bad one, which is European unity, which are still against Israel. So, by the way, it's important to know that Cyrus was called by God 
my Messiah, Meshichi, because he was helping Israel to settle, to get back to the land, to the promised land. And this Donald Trump started to do, uh, and unfortunately they are left with their own, you know, opponents. Try to disturb always. So, by the way, it is important to point out that the real Ishmael are those the Emirates, Saudi Why? Because the others, the Palestinians, are not originally they believe in the Islam, but basically they are really cover of the Amalekites. They really want to destroy Israel. The same thing, Turkey also. They are not the real uh, Ishmael. They are uh, believe in the Islam, okay, but not the real Ishmael. So the real Ishmael, as you see, just in the prophecies that his attitude to Israel in the end of days will really ch- change for good, as you see, just now in this table. So this is really what you see here is parts of our rabbis, the Torah, about <laughs> the future. So what is written there about the funeral of Abraham? So the Torah says that both of them Ishmael and Isaac, they were definitely in the funeral, but Ishmael gave Isaac the right to be the first one. So our rabbi tell us, from this we gather that Ishmael repented of his evil ways, Baba Bata, the Tractate is 16b, are either the descendants to Isaac. This is what is meant by the good old age mentioned in connection with Abraham. So it's written there in Genesis, you can see, is the verse in the Ashraba, that God said to Abraham, he will die with good old age. It means, however, said that he will see his son Ishmael getting back to the right race to repent and to keep properly the Torah, which he has to keep. So, also there is a Medrash, I didn't bring the whole Medrash, but the Medrash is Isaac prayed to God that Isu will change his evil ways in future. It is interesting, there is a verse in the, the Bible, Yuhan Rasha, that Isaac prayed, that Abraham prayed that Isu will change his, word, his ways. So this was Isaac prayed to God that Isu will change his evil ways. And Isu is Adam of today, yeah, Adam. Christianity, it is known. The attitude, especially the evangelists and so on, it is a change of attitude to Israel. Then, interesting Gimatia numerical value of the word Abraham Accord, a scheme of Abraham, which come to the numerical value 9376. Now, this is the adding of the verse. And if you will see my book, Gematria, Glance into Gematria, you can get it in glazesonbooks.com. There are many principles, have about 200 pages about Gematria, because no, Gematria is not simple at all. Not important principles, and one of the principles when you speak about something which is a means to bring something more greatness in it. So, we have to add the verse, the total number, which you did here. It means that this echoed, Abraham echoed, is really a mean, is a one can say the first step we should bring to a real complete peace. And we see that it is going on. So this was the numerical value of Abraham Echoed 376, 376, and the same thing, peace, shalom, 7, 376. Now, this Echoed, as we said, Abraham Echoed was Gottlieb, the episode that in the past, Gottlieb suggested this, he knows to work quite well, because Abraham is the father of these three, of the Jews, Isaac, of Ishmael, and of Israel, Adam. 
So Abraham accords on the name of the three of Abraham, Israel, Ishmael. Adam, this is really the descendants of Abraham, Israel, Ishmael, the United Arab Emirates, Adam, Donald Trump. So let's just see now the table. Here, as I said, I put the English for you and added also few words, very interesting one. So this is a table, very significant one, so you will understand yourself why when you will look into it, it in the shape how it appears. Now the first thing I was looking for the word united in Hebrew is Ichud, Emirates. By the way, lots of letters. If I'm not mistaken, maybe once in the Torah, Emirates, yeah? Coming here. And you have Ichud unity. United cannot be in one sentence because there are lots of letters. So you have Ichud, United of the Emirates, coming here. Amazing, you have these three nations also here. You have Israel here. You have Ishmael here. Amazing. And you have Edom here. Yeah. Edom, unbelievable, all of them. Then the verse in the Torah, the location of the Torah, which is so important in tables, is when God so said to Abraham, you will have son Isaac, Reakim et Brito, Olam, I will make an eternal covenant with him, and his descendants, and then Ishmael, Ishmael, what you asked me to bless, your son Ishmael, yeah, I will bless him. Berachti oto, befreiti oto, will multiply, erbeiti oto, will increase him. Very much, but you see today, really, the Emirates, exactly this blessing came out, it's going to show that he's the real Ishmael. So amazing, you have these three, Israel, Ishmael, and Adam, coming here together, with a, Peace, where the peace comes here, here, Ashalom, the peace. So one should know it is not simple <laughs> to find words which will be exactly parallel, because parallel it makes it very significant. Parallel. And this is what you have parallel of the peace, and you have parallel of this here. Here, 5781-2021, which is coming here also parallel. And this is this year, as you saw. For many of my tables in YouTube, that it is not a thought, it's going to be a simple here. Yeah, hoping that Jews will do Shuba. Maybe it's all good to do Shuba also. The seven laws of Noah have to be kept. There are seven laws, commandments that the children of Noah have to keep, and one of them is homosexuality and abortion. And unfortunately, we see that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kept properly, no. But it's written clearly. You want peace and Christ and reality? Yeah, there's condition. Shuvah, very small skip of the Shuvah and Kodesh Lashem, Holy Shabbos. Shabbat, Kodesh Lashem, the Shabbos is holy to God. And no, you see what is in Israel. We're liberal, rapid, leftist. We are doing exactly the opposite. They are desecrating the Shabbos, fighting with Orthodox Jews, fighting with the Torah. So, no, you see why so many troubles come. Then, what we have here. So, by the way, this is also amazing that you have skip of Tshuva, small one. And the Maimonides, the Rambam says, Israel will not be redeemed unless they do Tshuva, unless they return to God. And the Rambam says, but God promised that they will return. But who knows why, how much blood will still be split up to the come. So you have here repentance, the Sabbath, right? And you have, by the way, the months of repentance, which is the Lul. Yeah, you see, Lul. We are now the Lul, two weeks. Yeah, in the months we have a chance not to do. If not, we have to wait to the Etabshin Peale. Now, what you have here also, it's interesting, you have Joseph. Joseph, we have the Messiah. Yeah, you have Messiah, if you remember. Messiah, the son of Joseph. This is the Messiah, Mashiach, who will prepare the way for son of David, son of Jesse. 
And this is what we have today, you know. In fact, uh, as we mentioned, Donald Trump is like Cyrus. He's helping Israel to get back what God wanted. To, they will get their land back. This is why Cyrus was called by Isaiah, by God really, Koresh Meshichi, Cyrus, my Messiah. No. He started helping Jews, but you know that uh, always are disturbance and Jews themselves are not yet ready for this and so we have to wait until now hoping so. So this is the long time. Adam would change and all by Sarah said Adam was before very much against Israel they killed massacres, all this who said yeah killing Jews, splitting the Jewish blood like like rivers of blood because of those. But now there is a change. You have still bad side of, of Edom, which is a European unity. Those who are still against Israel, but Donald Trump, the evangelists, no doubt, they represent the good side of Edom. Then you have here interesting the date, 1966. Now, if somebody knows, this was the eve of the Sixth Day War. When Israel got back, they land. Starting getting very long, yeah. Still Jerusalem and so on. And here you have eight tough shin kafab. This is the year. And this was part of the promise which God said to Abraham, said to Isaac in the name of God. He said, You will get the land, yeah, I'll give you the land to you and to your descendants. But in condition, they keep the Torah. As the continuation is that we teach more. You want Israel? You want the full Israel? Yeah, so you have to keep the old Torah. If not the good Torah, it is difficult to get. Yeah, Israel wants to get it without keeping the Torah, it's difficult. So it's better to make peace with the Emirates. So what he sees is amazing, like clearly telling us that on the year 1966, we get Jerusalem back, the land back. And what we have more, we have Elijah, because Elijah will come. But what is so interesting that I saw that Corona appears, you see, Corona, Corona, the A is with the letter of repentance, amazing, why? Because Corona is from God, you know, two thirds of the Americans believe that it is sign from God, this is what they said, but unfortunately, they somehow don't look for the reason, and the reason <laughs> to me look like because it, they have to keep seven laws of Noah, and one of them, which is very severe, is homosexuality. <laughs> no? An abortion. So this made God very cross in the, in the past. This brought the flood. And our Rebbe said, as flood of water, we don't have, but flood of fire. You see what is in California, flood of fire. And you have flood of devil, you know, pestilence. This is what is written, the fighting of plague. This is the corona we have today. Amazing. And all is coming to we do repentance. There's a lot to do to repent of Saint California. Look like, right? And now that. Now what is interesting is that you have here, in corona, the letter ratio is leprosy, right? Both are the same thing, because leprosy comes from people because they are sinning. And in fact, it is interesting that there are many reasons for leprosy. Slander, but also other things, immorality, all these things also are in this. So amazing, the same thing like leprosy at the time of the, <laughs> of the Torah, at the time of the desert, they have leprosy was because of their sins. The same thing what we have today, Corona must be, because we should believe that nothing is not Coincidence, and it comes exactly with the word Sarat, leprosy. <laughs> so it goes together. So, now, what we have here, my name, Matitia, but it is not because of me. It is exactly appears in a verse which says the following. I did not do it in English, but the verse says, when a war will break out in your land, then you should blow the trumpets, 
then you should, by this you will remember by God, and then you will be saved for your enemies. So our rabbi tell us that this is the description of the war of Gog and Magog. Amazing. Even the Gematria comes, the Sifri said. So it will be a war in your land, and then Variot, you will blow the trumpets. And trumpets will be the shofar, when to pray, have to pray. And then, if you will pray to God, you will be remembered and you will be saved. Amazing. Now, Rabbi said, one of them really, his name is Blaise Aschar. He says, amazing idea. He says that the war of Gog and Magog, the future war of Gog and Magog, will be exactly like the war in the time of Hanukkah. The Greeks, yeah, the Greeks, the Hellenists. Why? Because the war of Gog and Magog will be in Israel, same with Israel. Now, what was the war in Hanukkah between the Greeks and Israel? It was physical war and spiritual. Physical was fighting. Spiritual because they fought against the Sabbath, the fences, the purity of life. And what was the end? In the end, Matityahu, the Azania, won and uh, Sabbath came back, the Torah came back. So it's written the same thing, will be the fight of Gogu Magog. Now, why? Because exactly the same thing. We have physical war. We have physical war with the uh, Arabs, with Fatah, with Iran, with Hamas, with Hezbollah. But you have also spiritual. We have the mixed multitude. We have Arab war. We have spiritual fight against this. Uh-uh. Those one Arab war, the leaders like you see today, Lapid, Lieberman, the leftist merits are against the service, exactly like, this, like the Greeks against the service, they are against purity of life, they allow homosexuality, homosexuality. And exactly like then, we have physical and spiritual one. So Matityahu represents the righteous one, yeah, at that time, as, as Mania, brought the victory, the same thing will be in the future. Amazing. In the same verses comes here, because this is the war that we had at that time, and the war that we have today, unfortunately, physical and spiritual. So let us hope that Jews will do repentance, shuva, will keep the holiness, the beauty of Shabbos, and then the month of Elul will do proper shuva, this is the time, and by doing shuva, we have the Messiah, we'll get rid of the corona, we'll get rid of many other troubles that we have from Elijah, Eliyahu will come with the Mashiach, and we bring Ashalom, bring the real peace, and happiness, joy, tranquility will prevail in the whole world.